welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I got a bit of unfinished business here. Wanted to take care of some of that. Didn't feel right to leave off on that last episode. So the first thing I want to do... Since I just went and looked up that achievement, I'll, I'll be honest. If you turn the music completely off and I sh and uh, play for a few minutes, I should get it. Storyteller, a book about building stories. Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. Achievement unlocked: silence. Make Zipcha sad. I guess he was the music guy. <laughs> 19.1% of players have this achievement, and literally all you need to do is turn the music off. Now the only one left is Collector All Stamps. I don't know why I closed that. I'll just bring that back up in case I need to look at that again. Ahem! Yes, we've uh, been here before. I guess that's a sound effect. At the end oh, all of right. <coughs> Storyteller, a book about building stories. So here's Life the deal. And death. Got on my phone here. A Steam guide to the secret stamps. Shout out to Strangineer for writing it. I doubt very much that you're actually watching this, but I appreciate the guide because it lists the locations and the solutions to each of the stamps in separate spoiler tags. So, uh... That means I can tell just... I can give myself a hint and at least know where the fuck to start with some of these puzzles before, uh... You know, I, I can actually get started doing it. And if I can't figure it out, of course, there are the answers, so, uh, I'll be able to do that, too. Just a moment. <laughs> Sorry about that, there was a hair stuck to the microphone, just sticking out into my peripheral vision, and it was really bugging me. Ah. Uh... Well, let's see, which of these stickers do I need? Secret stamp collection. Well, starting at the beginning, Romeo and Juliet, original story by Shakespeare, and the images of two poison bottles and a heart. Apparently, I can do that in 4-2. Chapter 4. The Cellar. 2 is tragedy. Haunted for murder. Or... Yeah, this is double poison, then it was haunted for murder with the devil. Okay, Romeo and Juliet. Wedding. Okay, Edgar and Lenora are in love. Hooray! I'm trying to remember how the fucking end of it went. Okay, Juliet definitely stabbed herself. She said, Oh, happy dagger, find thy sheath. Uh, and... Yes, yes, uh, Romeo poisoned himself. So he died first. And for Romeo to die first, that means he needs a reason to die first. So I'm going to have the devil. I didn't notice that before. The characters make different sounds when you pick up their icons. Lenora's sounds are much more high-pitched than Edgar's. The devil just makes really ominous piano noises. Okay, so Edgar thinks that Lenora's dead. Edgar poisons himself. I should probably put something in that actual panel so I can, you know, put characters there. Lenora finds out that Edgar really is dead. And she poisons herself. And she's dead. Okay, that's not quite it either. 
So everybody's fucking dead. Here's their ghosts. Wait, what if I did this? Oh! The ghosts are happy to be together. That's weird. Well, I mean, I guess it's not, but it's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've accidentally recreated double poison. Ha! Huh! And I know that's not the way I did it the first time because the devil was involved. Okay, okay. I took a peek and it was semantics. They must have written this guide before they released the devil levels because the solution doesn't involve the devil. I just assumed. Uh, this guide was from September 26th last year, so I don't know where it goes. Okay, so instead of, uh... The devil of making Edgar think Lenora is dead. Lenora actually dies. But then she comes back to life. And if I do this right, then uh, when the living... Oh no, I have to shovel, shovel this over. Yes, sorry. Because before Lenora comes back to life, Edgar really kills himself. But if I have Lenora come back to life here, then she'll see that Edgar was dead and kill herself for that reason. Romeo and Juliet. There you go, Will. Maybe I'll do better on the next one. I'll just have to remember not to use the devil. I don't think that, uh, added anything other than the devil character to the devil levels. Like, I don't think they added any scene types that I have to remember not to use. Oh, right, back to the stickers. Secret stamp collection. Yes, Romeo and Juliet. I kind of wish that it changed these descriptions to tell you what you actually did. Young dog, old man meets. Young man, old dog keeps. How the fuck do I age one of them but not the other? No, where is that? Three, four. The... Apparition. Oh yeah, it would be the aging level dog. Old heartbroken dog dies happy. Yeah, so right now I've just got the end of time. That's no good. I really like how when I get rid of the earlier hourglasses, all the later ones get more sand. Oh, young dog, old man meets. Okay, this is going to be strange. I establish that Edgar exists, but I don't put anything on the tombstone. Time. Old man Edgar falls in love with... Dog. Uh... Old man Edgar dies. And it even has a different picture on the tombstone for old man Edgar. Dog is heartbroken. Young man, old dog keeps. But there's only two characters here, dog and Edgar. I can't... I don't have enough room to resurrect him and all that. Old dog, ghost of Edgar. No. Um... Wait... Oh, and it's the ghost of old man, Edgar. Even if I brought him back to life, he probably wouldn't be, uh... A young man. Oh, shit, I accidentally erased their, uh, happiness together. Oh. 
How do I do both of those things? Maybe I get rid of this first one establishing that. So then he's not old! Young dog, old man meets. Young man, old dog keeps. Wait. What if he doesn't need die? Fuck! <laughs> How the hell do I do this? Okay, he's not dead, so that's what I was doing over there. He's not dead, so I can't revive him back to youth. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. exactly what I need right here. I need more damn panels! I have time, and then... And then I would do one of... Well, actually, no, I would do them in this order. Time, so the dog is old, and then I revive Edgar so he's young, and then... Do I have to do that? Yes, okay, yes! Yes, I do! If I don't establish the character before I use time, it doesn't affect him. How the hell do I do this in six panels? Huh. And this is the only one with time in it. Okay, last panel, Edgar, dog, they are happy together. Panel before that, Edgar has to revive. Before that, it has to be time. Can I put a character into time? No. No, I cannot. Shite. Uh... I should probably have a background there, me. Let's not have Edgar hanging out next to an empty grave. I mean, it's not actually empty, it's just blank. That's it! Oh no, then the dog will also be dead. No! Okay, okay, Edgar, ex first panel, Edgar exists. Second panel, time! Third panel, Edgar will be an old man. And he can meet the dog. Let me just take these characters out so I don't win, I think. Edgar, dog, they are happy together. If I use time again, it kills Edgar. It doesn't- I don't need to have a panel where he's dead. Do, you know, I don't, don't need to have a panel to establish he's dead, I can just use time again, and he'll die of old age. Then I immediately revive him. So... Edgar should be revived to youth, but the dog should be old. Age difference. Yes! got to spend their whole lives together. More than once! Who the hell can say that? I knew I could get at least a... I was determined not to check the thing for that one. I'm very pleased with myself. Oh, shit! I didn't know I could do that. I clicked on the title, Old Heartbroken Dog Dies Happy, and I think it brought up my original solution. It's actually really depressing, so I'm just going to go set it up the other way. There! Oh, yes, uh... What's next? Secret stamp collection. Verther. Original story by, uh... 
Oh, God damn it! I had a comment about that. I wanted to take advantage of this jump cut to point out something weird about this uh, art for the game I found. I'd been using it as a placeholder. And specifically, that's the fact that it's lousy with characters and stuff that don't actually appear in the game. Like, who the fuck is this over here? The long-ass hair and the enormous butt. <laughs> and there's a brown-haired Edgar over here. This appears to be the king as some kind of cultist. Uh, there's ghosts and robots over here. Uh, the king and the duke appear to be, like, throwing lightning at people from on top of clouds. You know, like, what is going on here? Look at this robot, whose face is just one glowing light and a dark spot under the helmet. What the hell? I do like the one wheel for feet, though. That's kind of funny. And this guy here just looks pretty much exactly like the Baron if he were older, but as I just mentioned earlier, the only people available in the level with the time stuff are Edgar and the dog. So I don't know what's up with this. Are they planning a lot more with this game when they designed this art? Or what? Oh well, back to uh, solving puzzles and earning stickers. Okay, sorry. Yeah, the next one is called Further Original Story By, and uh, I got a comment here from Derek Floyd. Shout out. I might have actually read this one before, but I feel like it's really prudent here. The Sorrows of Young Werther is an epistolary, sorry, epistolary novel, portrayed as a correspondence between characters, from 1774, written by Johann Wolfgang von... And then it notes that it, he's German, so his last name is pronounced Gutta. Depicting an unhappy romantic infatuation that ultimately ends in suicide. The novel made Guta an overnight celebrity in the Holy Roman Empire and was so influential on the youth of the time that boys would dress up in Werther's outfit and supposedly inspired copycat suicides. That's kind of crazy. The sketch comedy show History Bites did an episode in the phenomenon that paralleled Werther mania with Trek culture. I like that. Uh... Do I any more? There's another comment here from Elthwar, also shout out. Let's see if uh, this is more specific information. Uh, first, there's a bit about the mirror telling the uh, witch that her husband was cheating on her. To be fair, from my side, I didn't think that the mirror would reveal it directly. I just thought that if the mirror said Snowy was still the fairest, it might make her angry enough to perform the punishment. Uh, but then it notes, Werther is from Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, perhaps the most celebrated uh, German-language author. His story, The Sorrows of Young Werther, is... Uh, a romantic movement that is about a young man falling into an intense, unrequited love that eventually leads to his suicide. The book was incredibly popular in the late 18th century, with a wave of people copying the fashion styles from the story, along with fandom-level merchandise being created and, unfortunately, some copycat suicides. Yeah, it's kind of crazy go nuts. But, uh... Let's see, that's supposed to be in level 4-1. Which is, uh, poison Her in the cellar. Self, Lenora, drinks poison. This should be simple enough. There's only three panels. Oops. Okay. Uh... Okay, I can do this. Let's see. Lenora marries Bernard. Hooray! They're happy together. Lenora refuses to marry Edgar because she loves Bernard. Edgar poisons himself. Guta would be proud. And I got that from a comment. I'd never... Well, from comments. I'd never heard of this story before. I'm kind of impressed with myself, to be perfectly frank. Okay. That was easy. That is probably my biggest complaint about this game, that it's really inconsistent when it comes to the difficulty. You know, some some of the puzzles I had to sleep on, at least two of them for that, and neither of them were the, fir the, or the last one or the second last one, I'm just saying. Secret Stamp Collection Macabre. Isabel laughs at a tombstone. How the fuck am I going to do that? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, 
there. Apparently, I can do macabre and shocked wives, Lenora and Isabel realize they share their husband, in the same level. 2-4. Having some structure, being able to tell where to go, this helps. Grief. Spouses reject each other. Okay. Isabel laughs at Tombstone. Looks like Isabel's just waiting for an excuse to murder someone. Um... Alright, let's clear the board real quick. Oops, not the devil. Just everything. Oh, that's interesting. I can't actually change it to surviving spouses find comfort anymore, but I can bring back uh, spouses reject each other from the devil levels. I guess it overwrote that. Hmm. Okay. Edgar marries Isabel. Uh... Isabel and Nora realize they share their husband. Oh, I know! Maybe if I try to marry Isabel to Lenora, they'll both say the same person. If I do this... Death, and I put the devil here behind the uh, tombstone. What if I put someone who isn't in love here? Oh, right, he draws, him, he draws the person himself. Yeah, just draws Bernard to scare Bernard. What about the devil here? No, um... Okay, yes. Uh, Edgar. Edgar, of course, yes. So Edgar thinks Isabel's dead. Uh, Edgar gets remarried to Lenora without checking. Can I try to marry Lenora and uh, Isabel to each other? And they're horribly offended. Wives. Shocked wives. I like that. Even says he even sounded scandalized. <laughs> they're so angry looking. And let me guess, if Lenora actually dies, and then I put Isabel in front of her. Oh, but she doesn't care or know. And all I've got is wedding and death, so I can't like have her poison her. No. Uh... <clears throat> okay, maybe now he has rejected Isabel because uh, he's now married to Lenora, even though Isabel didn't actually die. So now if Lenora dies, and she, since uh, as Isabel was pissed, maybe she'll laugh now. <laughs> Macabre. I can never pronounce that word correctly. Macabre. It's the r at the end. I can't get right. You know, I either like completely blow it and say macabre, or I just go for it macabre. Like there's no r at the end at all. What a horrible story. Uh. Shocked wives. Secret stamp collection. And there's Macabre. The only one I need left on the first page is excesses. Lenora falls asleep, and there's a picture of a like a liquor bottle with Zeds above it. Let's see here. Four three. Bru Apparition. The cellar. Haunt. Isabel. Is haunted by her husband. Lenora falls asleep. That's not right. Lenora is not in this level. Oh wait, there might have been a comment on that. I think some of the locations were wrong. Uh. Well, okay. Um. Yes, here it is. It can be done in Chapter 4-4 instead. My bad. 
Well, that guy is bad, actually, not mine. Murder of jealousy. Yes, I did try this one before by just having Lenora drink wine in every page, but, uh... Okay, let me just try once again. Wine, 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 wine! And then I just put Lenora in all the chairs. Hmm. Well, that doesn't work, does it? I mean, you'd think if you drank six glasses of wine, you'd be tipsy, but, uh, <laughs> at the very least! Oops. Hmm. If she has a reason to celebrate. Gets married to Edgar. Fine. Uh... I should have just left those ones in there, huh? Edgar marries Lin uh, Isabel. Edgar refuses to marry. Yes. Excesses. Oh, I only needed one of those panels. Fuck, I only needed three of these in total. Edgar marries Isabel. Edgar refuses to marry Eleonora, who is heartbroken because he loves Isabel. Lenora, heartbroken, drinks from the bottle instead of from a glass, and just passes out in her chair. Honestly, Murder of Jealousy was less depressing than that. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'm still getting out of here. Secret stamp collection. That's the first two pages taken care of. Delicious! Well, the timer did go. Looks like the next one is Fright Battle, Mutual Ghost Haunt. I've put goat... <clears throat> I've put dead people in the same panels before. They just sort of float there next to each other unless they were already in love. Maybe if they hate each other. Oh, and I thought of something, by the way. Is that just, oh, shit. Like a... What do they call it? Fridge logic? Or, you know, shower thoughts? Uh, normally you put a dead character into a panel after they die, and they show up as a ghost. If you put Adam, Eve, or the devil in a panel after God smites them, it shows up as the Statue of Ash. Which suggests he's not just killing them when they fail him, he's erasing their souls. Damn! The Lord Almighty fights, uh, dirty, I guess. Well, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Storyteller. I accidentally learned you can close the book and then ba open it back up to where you were, so, uh, I thought I'd be a very dramatic way to end the episode. We're gonna keep going through these stamps, and I'm gonna see how far I can get with or without cheating. Wish me luck, because it's kind of fun so far. <laughs> Later.